Hello lovely people. This is not how I planned to start this video, but currently myself and Halme are broken down halfway between Girona and Ponce, which is where the race is. At this point, we don't really know if we're gonna make it or not. Um, we're trying to call a tow truck. The car won't start. So we're on the motorway and yeah. I'll keep you posted. It turns out that the problem with the car was that it had too little fuel in it. So basically all these lights started coming on. But the reason I didn't stop for fuel is because all the lights were on and I was worried that if I stopped, I wouldn't be able to get the car started again. But yeah, now I just feel kind of stupid because we put fuel in it and now it works. So basically my meter for saying how many how many miles we've got till it runs out is doesn't work which is good to know we're gonna get some dinner and then we're gonna go to the race let's fucking go <laughs> good morning it's race day we finally made it when did we go to bed how many like 11 30. it was gross um and we were i was up at five now about 10 to 6 I'm trying to force myself to eat pasta I feel so sick <laughs> I find it so hard to eat this early I'm not a morning person anyway so no bueno but hey we're about to go to get the numbers get ready for the race and yeah I'm quite nervous actually I am partly nervous because I mean six hours I mean, I've done that far, but it's still a long time to race that hard. And yeah, I have no idea how I'm going to do either. I've done a good month of training, so we'll see how it goes. I know we're late, but look, I need this coffee. <laughs> even spelt my name right um and this is a tracker so last last race i didn't turn this on so people who were trying to my mum and dad couldn't see me on the map and nor could you help me
fuck. Oh. Okay, so I just cracked a rim as my race over. I was um, like, I guess, main front group. There was a little breakaway off the front and I was absolutely sending it down this rocky gravel descent, the one we reconned a few times. So I knew it really well, but uh, adrenaline got the better of me. And uh, I just, with a lot more pace, just caught a rock, cracked my rim. Um, that's day done. Only got 30 minutes of race again. So now the, uh, the men's race, which started 15 minutes behind us is coming through and they are absolutely hooking. So um, today's video is actually not really gonna be a race vlog, but we'll, I will endeavor to make it entertaining for you. This man right here just saved my life. Um, I lost phone signal to call Halme to come and rescue me. And uh, yeah, the gravel community, the love is strong. I feel it. No takers. <laughs> How may has just come to save our lives. This man does not just film and edit. He also saves gravel cyclists with mechanicals. I've also found another one <laughs> for the journey home. Sad times. Sad times. You see here? You can't probably see it, but that's cracked through here. Yeah. Um, so... I tried to pump it up and this is like sticking into the tire so it's just going to keep puncturing. I don't have a spare front wheel and realistically if you're not in the front group <laughs> is there a point? <laughs> Actually there probably is but not for me. I'm too competitive. We're on the way back to Ponce uh, but I forgot to put the third seat up so currently I'm sat on Emma's lap, which is quite comical because my head is now fully squished against the ceiling. Are you alright, Emma? I'm having a great time. Yeah. And I've also I've got a water bottle in my pocket that's aggressively just <laughs> <laughs> pushing into Emma. Uh, and how May is obviously calm, collected, and in charge as always. Wow, the G-force around a corner when you have no seatbelt and you're on someone else's lap is quite intense. Whoa! That's when you know that the race is over. I can that one, really. <laughs> Oh, I have no words. Coffee? Yes, please. Let's go get coffee. I've got changes to normal clothes now, and the first races are gonna be coming through. There's three routes, a short, a medium, and a large, so I think it will probably be the short, uh, 60K route, I think. Um, Oh yeah, we're just gonna watch and support them home, give them that good gravel vibe, welcome. I love you, raise your lot, because you yeah. So, it's currently 11 o'clock. We set off at half seven, which means half seven, half eight, half nine, half 10. They'll be back in like two to three hours, the 160 route. We're just here, Listen to the strokes, eating a watermelon, trying to not be too depressed that we <laughs> DNF'd. So when I had my little moment, uh, Ella Harris and Hayley Simmons were up the road. Ella Harris rides for Canyon Tram and Hayley Simmons rides for Movistar. So I don't know if they will have stayed away, I think probably, but there was quite a big group that I was kind of part of, which was like, probably six people which I think like if they ride they could catch they could catch Hayley and Ella but yeah just hoping that it's a good finish I think there's a lot of really strong women so I actually in terms of who's going to be top five it's it's going to be close in the men's race when it came past Emma and I um, there was a guy from Euskatel off the front which is a, I think it's a pro conti men's team uh, followed by Carlos Verona and also Nico, Nico Roach. Um, one of our mates, Diedrich, was up there. So yeah, really, I don't know on the men's side. It's hard because it's like, you look at someone like Carlos Verona as a world tour pro for Movistar, but then, you know, it's a gravel race. It's not the same as road racing, so anything could happen. 
trying to add some excitement because realistically we're just sitting here waiting for like three more hours. something like that and then right around there my body was like yo we need some water and I <laughs> backwards. so I was super stoked to be up in that front group of 12 until then and then a little bit less stoked to not finish with them but I finished pretty decent so good if, day out on the bike if you were to summarize it in like one sentence for people who are watching this and they they maybe want to do the, the rancho next year like what's the experience like Oh, it's wicked. It's like probably the most fun bike race course I've ever ridden. Like it suits me really well, so it's just so fun. Uh, but it's wicked hard too, and everyone here brought their A game. So oh. I'll do it again. I will do it again. All right. See you next year, pal. Oh yeah. <laughs> Mate, you fucking smashed that. Well done. You were second. Yeah, that was us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a punch on like what? <laughs> Fuck! Oh my god, that's so hard. Go Dina! Go Dina! That was Rancho 2022. It was a crazy day, a crazy couple of days for us actually. Lots of twists and turns, but we made it and it turned into a mega day. Thank you so much to Classmark, the organizers of Rancho, to everyone doing the event. Epic day out. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more cycling content. As always, keep risking it for a biscuit, but don't risk it for a biscuit so hard that you break your wheel, okay? Um, that's it guys. Boop. <laughs>